One of the most common questions users ask is which app should I use? The apps are designed as a suggestion, so they've got formulations inside that have been shown to be effective for that purpose. This doesn't mean that they're effective only for that specific purpose. For instance, somebody that has back pain may get relief from any one of the four pain apps or the Pain Plus apps. Or for that matter, one of the recovery apps might be useful because they may have back spasm or sore back muscles, or they might actually just need a good massage in the area. We always suggest that people experiment with the apps and the modes within the apps to determine what works best for them. If it's going to work, it's normally quite apparent or they should start to get relief within a few minutes. With regards to pad placement, for most cases, we suggest, particularly for pain relief or massage or recovery stimulation, to place the pads over the area to be treated. Of course, that should be comfortable and not painful. It's a little bit about giving yourself feedback. If it's not feeling right, try moving the pad or try using a different app or a different model. The only exception to that is microcurrent, where the current should be running through the tissue between the pads. For localized application, on a knee for example, you might have the pads on either side of the knee for the current to go through it. Or you could have one below the knee and one above the knee. If the pads are placed on the back, on any one of the stimulation modes, the pads should not be less than 10 to 15 centimeters apart. Otherwise, the current will go across the surface of the skin. The wider apart they are, the deeper the stimulation. If it's the microcurrent that's treating your lower back, for example, you might have one pad over the spine or on the side of the spine and the other pad on the hip or the front of the hip. You might want to put the pads on another part of the body because you want the current to travel through the body.